Hello, Mark Crossfield here. We're here at the lovely Credit and Golf Club. Now, I have lasered my Nikon laser here to be 70 yards out. We've got a tricky little chip where I want to try and generate a little bit of stop. Um, so we're going to talk to you a little bit about how I would hit my 60 degree lob wedge in here and actually try and get the ball to stop and nip as I feel as I'm taking it off the turf to get it to stop and get a bit of control on that green. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, so let's just talk a little bit about how to hit this pitch shot. I've lasered it at 70 yards. So we're licking literally 70 exact, 70.5 yards to the flag. Um, I've got my 60 degree wedge here, because I don't mind a little bit of height. But what I'm gonna try and do is get this ball to kind of stop on the green nice and fast. And to do this, lots of people often feel like they have to hit really hard down on the ball to get lots of spin. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and actually hit the ball almost level with the ground is my feeling. I'm gonna feel like I'm bringing the club through level with the ground while maintaining the loft. So for me to hit down, I always feel like I'm gonna de-loft the club, which to me is gonna give me less spin. I want plenty of loft to get that spin. So I'm gonna add loft. I'm gonna come into the ball and feel like I'm raising the handle up. So I feel like I'm raising the grip up to keep the angle of attack quite level with the ground while holding that loft on the face. And I'm gonna try and put a bit of speed on it as well to get it to stop. So that speed's gonna help generate hopefully that bit of spin so let's give this a go 70 yards 60 degree wedge i'm going to put the ball pretty central in my stance i'm going to start with my weight kind of 65 on my left foot so i'm not as heavy left side as people often feel they need to be with their pitches let's see if i can nip one in there i mean that's the strike i want oh get in oh that is very very close you can see here Kevin if you show them I've taken not much of a divot out of there really just kind of brush the the ground there I mean my attack angle must have been minus two at the most less than I would hit with a regular seven while maintaining the loft get a bit of height and a lot of spin on that approach shot uh, thanks for watching guys let me know how do you hit spinny chips the other thing I should say actually there what I did which is really important is I clean the grooves as much as I could with a tee before I hit the ball. I'm trying to get as much friction on this shot as possible. The cleaner the grooves, the more grab you can get on that ball, and the more spin, resulting spin, you'll get out the other end. Thanks for watching. Post comments down below. How do you hit your spinny pitches? Let me know, and we'll speak to you all soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video. Post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.